Hey, a washing machine. Free for the taking. Well, I have a washing machine, so I don't need that. These are some video game pickups. I'm gonna show them as I walk along. Might turn the camera around at some point, just for fun. We're currently in a, uh, I think it's the longest lockdown we've had. Well, I don't really remember. Not even sure if we've been in a uh, lockdown longer than a week so far, but as of tomorrow, it will be a week, and by the looks of things, they will be extending it. It sucks, because whether you agree with it or not, you, you have to go with it. It's not fun, nobody likes it, but I guess until the governments start classifying shit as a uh, normal disease, you're not going to go back to normal. I believe that is the plan eventually, but yeah, who knows. Plans change within like minutes every day with this shit. It's hard to even know what you're supposed to be doing at any given time other than staying at home or going to work if you're an essential worker. I am unfortunately an essential worker. A well-paid one, but it's still essential, unfortunately. I've got... I'm actually taking a day off today. I have so much holiday time built up, but I just can't take it. I was supposed to go to a wedding next week, but looks like that's off. They'll only be having the, uh, the bride, the groom, the celebrant, and two witnesses there. Not allowed to have anyone else there, unfortunately. But uh, if I don't post another video for a while, no, it's not because I've like forgotten about YouTube or anything, or I'm stopped making videos. Uh, there's been some confusion with my NBN as well. Uh, realistically, I should be hooked up to the NBN by now. I was on a waiting list to get NBN equipment last year. Because I knew eventually they would turn off the ADSL 2 Plus, and I thought, well, if the government's offering a free upgrade for my internet, I might as well. No reason not to. But I can't get NBN equipment now. It's been like a global shortage of the wires or something. So if there's no more YouTube or something, then that's why. Got messages. Hey, a hole in a tree. If I get messages, I keep getting messages saying we're turning off your NBN, and when I ask them about it, they say, "Oh no, we're not turning it off until the equipment becomes available." But then I don't know if that means they will turn it off before they get equipment to bring it out. But who knows? More free stuff. Curbside collections back. Although, no one's really allowed out to look at it. I, th I think I'm breaking the law right now, too. I mean, there's no one around, but I am outside. It's a bit silly. Let's show some video game pickups. I'm gonna go in the, uh, the forest down here because it's nice there. A lot of trees and stuff. Let's show some video game pickups now. I have them all in this bag. It's going to be hard to juggle everything. But we'll get there in the end. I'm trying to pull out a stack now. Might edit some little bits out of this video. So over the last three weeks I have gone out a little bit to do game hunting. Not a whole lot, basically just the weekends because work has been very busy. Work has been busy because um, because of so many COVID cases in other places, they've had to shut down various factories, so a lot of work has come to ours, which means I'm always needed. But on the weekends I have been able to get out, which has been nice. I might go into the woods and then find a place to just set down the camera. You can see all the stuff in here. This is not going to work. I need an extra set of arms if I want to make this work. I should have dragged my wife along. She was taking a bit long to get ready. There's a lot of mosquitoes in here as well, so if you see me like smacking my arms a lot, there's your reason why. How about here? Or 
Go a little further in. I chose this one because it's not a popular walking area. There's only one trail and it's overgrown. Hey! Almost walked right into you. Uh, I'm gonna go under you. I don't mind walking through these areas, I find it fun. There's another spider. Yeah, golf ball. Well, I know a lot of people aren't fans of, uh, <laughs> of woodlands that aren't well maintained. A GoPro would be nice. Have it on like something out in front of me. That's a nice looking spider. <sighs> Already getting mosquitoes on me. <laughs> they just attack you, eh? Right, let's show some video game pickups. I have a few copies of this Minecraft for Xbox 360. One, two, yeah. Three copies of Minecraft for the Xbox 360. These are a hard sell online these days, but it should be pretty easy to just take them to CEX and they'll give me something for them. We've got Sims 3 as well, I think it was $5. The Minecraft games were between $3 and $5 each, I wouldn't pay any more than that for them. Let's turn the camera around. There we go, my handsome face. So I wouldn't pay any more than that for them. Because there's... There's a bit of money to be made from them, but Minecraft for the 360 and Sims 3 for the 360 has kind of fallen. It's kind of funny, it's like, there's a lot of 360 games have fallen by a lot, but PS3 games kind of climb up in value for whatever reason. Even though I believe, especially for multi-platform games, Xbox 360 is way more val- is- is a better quality, like the, the games are better looking on Xbox 360. That works. I can use the games as a backing. I went out last Saturday, about a week ago. About a week ago. But there wasn't a whole lot to find. I think I went to like 10 different op shops in the north side, didn't find a single thing. Not even like DVDs, like even if I don't find video games, I usually find DVDs, but just nothing to be found. I did have some stuff to pick up from a cash converter, so that's the only stuff I found that whole day. It was a bit of a wasted morning, but I did find some... I did get some good stuff from there, at least. Got this stuff right here. I have, for $3, The Haunted Mansion. It's about a $20 game. This is one for my own collection. Dante's Inferno Death Edition. This is a really cool, like, little special edition. It's got, like, an art book and stuff. $5. Yeah, hey, another golf ball. Might pick them up and take them home. And Demon Souls. The value on this has dropped since the PS5 one came out. But it is still worth picking up, you know. For $5, I can hopefully get about maybe 35 maybe 40 on a good day. So we have this one, this was three bucks. I have to check my collection, I need to get all of the Lego games, but they're just... <laughs> There's so many of them, man. They're fun to play, but I don't play them a whole lot. Like, if I play one Lego game a year, I think that's a pretty good run. Let's get down a little bit. We've got some avant-garde film making going on now. Okay, this stuff just real quick so we can get into the meat, the meat of this. You eat your vegetables so that you can enjoy the meat. There we go, now the sun's not blocking it. From the Goodna Cash Converters, I won two things off of their web shop. I saw this on their web shop, but I decided not to grab it. One of the Minecrafts was one on their web shop. I saw this, it was only $2, but on their web shop it said it was in bad condition, so I didn't buy it. I thought, I'll go in store, I'll look at it in person, then I'll make my decision. And turns out it was actually in pretty good shape. 
Left 4 Dead 2, I'm not sure why they classified this as in bad condition, but it is in good condition. Also grabbed for the wife, for $7 we have Harvest Moon 3D, The Tale of Two Towns. I don't actually have a 3DS, even though I have a lot of 3DS games. <laughs> I'll get one eventually. The 3DS is kind of expensive. Which is just a little bit weird, because I don't think too highly of the 3DS. It's not a great system or anything, it's got some good games on it. Okay, now I can do this a little bit easier. We can continue walking. I am stealing this idea from Jason Krillman, by the way. When he does his Dollar Tree DVD reviews. He goes on walks in, like, uh, the woods and out in the bushland. I do have a lot of bushland around me, but I don't film inside it for whatever reason. I like to film outside, but just not in, like, public areas, I guess. I like to film in my backyard, because <laughs> it's just me there. I thought during the lockdown, it's kind of perfect because there's no one out. And I know I'm not wearing a mask, but I mean, neither's anyone else, right? <laughs> So for $6, I probably overpaid a little bit for this. But we have the Dishonored 2 Limited Edition. I already had this on PS4, but the, for whatever reason, the disc on mine doesn't work. I don't know if it's an issue with my PS4 or with the disc itself, but I have a few games like that. Like, I, I can't get God of War working. I can get it working, but only for a few minutes, and then the game crashes. And it's the same with this game, so I bought another copy for $6, limited edition, I thought. I'll give it another go, I might need to get another PS4. Honestly, my PS4 is like, it's almost exclusively a media player. But it's like the best media player I've ever had. It's, it's a really fantastic thing, especially because it does... You can watch Blu-rays on it, but you can also watch DVDs and stuff, and you can watch them region free, so I don't have to worry anything about region coding at all. It's pretty great. Next, I got these from the Gold Coast. When I went to the Gold Coast two weeks ago, I actually found a lot of stuff, but most of that stuff has since sold. This is a stuff that was a bit too scratched to list, so I was going to take it to CEX. I don't really collect for the PS2 anymore, but I will buy games if they're cheap, just to sell on or trade in. So I can get games that I want. I've got a billabong here. You cannot see that at all. But I've got some good ones here. These range between you know two dollars and four dollars. This is probably where all of the mosquitoes come from, this billabong. I see on some people's phones they can like switch between the rear view and the normal camera automatically, like, they just go like that, and it switches, but I can't do that on mine, so I have to turn it around. But we have Time Crisis 2, SSX Tricky, I don't know why, the other SSX games are worthless, but this one is really, really expensive. Especially if you trade it into CX, they give you like 20 bucks for it trade-in. The Warriors, really good game. Really, really good. Urban Chaos, this is also a really good game. It reminds me a lot of uh, Manhunt, and you can go online with it, or you used to be able to. It's really fun. And Neva Speed Underground 2, which is always worth picking up. Completing the. That's a very easy trade in. And they give you quite a bit for it, which is nice. Alright, let's pause again, and I'll show you the cream of the crap. So, finally here, and I will recommend another person's channel, uh, Figsby Games, or Figsy Games. I'll have all of the links for the people I'm mentioning down below. There's the water. Mucky and filthy. I don't know what they put these uh, rods in here for. Perhaps at one point they were interested in making a crossing, like a bridge or something, but, I mean, 
anything you would put in there would just sink. And it just goes to private property anyway. So I guess they gave up on it. But his channel is great. He does chat videos a little bit like mine, but better quality. But I will uh, give a warning. Uh, don't go watch his videos if you want to hold on to your money because he <laughs> recommends... He shows a lot of games. He showed these uh, games in a video where... Oh, that, that tree is sick. Poor tree. He showed these games which were... Asian exclusive PS3 games but playable in English. And I watched it and I went on a buying spree. It was a little foolish of me, but I had my tax return money in, so I thought, eh. It's been a long time since I've kind of splurged on something, so... That, that's just anything. I haven't splurged on anything for ages. But I grabbed some PS3 games. I will say the prices. I'm not one of those prudish people who will avoid saying what they paid for something just because it was a high dollar amount. I've lost in the rain here, this was $450 with free shipping. What's some noise? Oh, it's a bush turkey. I'll chase that later. I've lost in the rain here. It's currently in my PS3. This was a really good game. I'm playing it so far. I'm probably like halfway through now. Put like two and a half hours into it. I think it's about a four hour game. But it's supposed... The gimmick of the game is that you're this invisible person, but you can be seen when you're out in the rain, so you have to avoid monsters and chase after this girl, and dipping out of being invisible and not invisible. It's really good. It's a shame it never got in a proper English release, because I could see this being like a really good hidden gem. And the only way to play it in English is to get that, it's not on the PSN store or anything. I got this one. This one was brand new sealed. I believe this was about $250, $250. The Pixel Junk 3-in-1 pack, it was brand new sealed. I thought I'll just grab it. I don't know a whole lot about these games, but they do look good. Especially the third one, Eden? I'll have to... I'm not going to break the seal for now, but I will give it a go eventually. There was one game I didn't end up picking up. I have some more games coming in, I'll show them later. But I didn't end up picking up a game called The Last Guy, because it... The only copy I could find had a crack in the disc, and they said it worked. But for $250, I didn't want to spend that kind of money. And other copies were like $500 and up, which I just... I don't want to spend that much. Not on a game that I don't think I'll enjoy that much. Another one here, this one wasn't brand new sealed, that's one I want to sit down and play anyway. I think this was about $300 with $10 shipping, Aquanauts Holiday. I think I got a decent deal on this, this tends to go for like $450 and up. But I put the put an offer into a guy for like $300 and he took it, so I guess he needed the money. Oceanic Adventure, that's pretty funny. Yeah, Aquanauts Holiday, this is a very rare game. Even the uh, Japanese-only copy goes for about 80 bucks. So this one is in English, and I will sit down and play it. Complete in there, complete in the box. I figured, the games I want for my collection... <laughs> my collection. It's stupid. But I wanted them. I figured these games are only going to go up in price, they're not ever coming down, ever. And they're not getting re-releases, so I might as well grab them now for the price they're at and enjoy them. We have three more games here. The first two... I ordered these off of the guy, I actually only ordered one game, he ended up sending me two games. It was very nice of the guy, I left him a very good feedback for that. But I ordered the Siberia collection, he wanted $90 for it. I caught it! I caught it! <laughs> he wanted $90 for it. I put in a 
best offer of $70 with free shipping and he took it. And yeah, it's brand new sealed. The Siberia games are really good, very underrated. People don't really talk about them when they talk about good adventure games, but they are great. And the other one here, Final Fantasy X-2. He sent this to me for free, for nothing, just with the Siberia game. This is also brand new sealed. I looked this up. These go for like $70 all day long, so if I wanted to sell this, I could recoup my money I got, I bought, I spent for this one. So excited, I can't even speak. That was a really good one to get. Really good deal for that. So I have two more games coming for the PS3. I have a copy of... Uh... You know, like Super Dodgeball, but it's like an older sports game. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I have that coming from a Russian guy, brand new sealed. It's apparently a uh, pretty good game, so I will give it a go. And, and I have a Ico and Shadow of the Colossus collection where they're on individual discs and it's from Japan. I thought, it looks cool, I want it. It's a nice collection piece. It was like $30, $40. Well, the last game to show here, one for my Nintendo DS collection. Now, it's been a while since I bought a game for my Nintendo DS collection, but I've had some uh, CEX credit lying around for a while, so I thought I'll spend it on this. I didn't have this one before. Final Fantasy IV on the Nintendo DS. Pretty good shape. I think this was like... I don't remember. Maybe 50, 60, 70, but it was with trading credit, so I might have spent like 30 to 20, 30 dollars out of pocket. We have this one here. Good one to get. I remember I had Final Fantasy 3 on the Nintendo DS ages back, like when I was originally playing Nintendo DS games. I had this. I had number three, but I never played number four. I'm not really sure if it's a good game or not. But I figured I'd grab it anyway. And that will do it. Now, if I want to do this again, I'll need to figure out a way to... I'm going to turn around. There's like a chainsaw or something going off. I'll need to figure out a way to show games and hold the camera. I'm not sure how Jason Creelman does it, but his videos all look very smooth. I think mine was a bit janky. There's a bit of that going around i might have to like pause it get something out show it pause it get something out show it i might just have to do that again and again until i've shown everything but we will figure this out there's a lot more places i want to walk around and show you guys and i have been meaning to do a bit more walking because i am getting a little chubby again we're putting on a bit of muscle as well we're getting a bit chubby as well we can't we can't put it all down to Balkan, can we? We've got to put some down to uh, eating the wrong things at the wrong time. And maybe in the wrong quantities. That'll be all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A unique video game pickups video. I definitely enjoyed making it. It's uh, it's definitely something different for me. Let's see you in my house. Bid you guys farewell. Have a good one. Go out and reconnect with nature as well. It's beautiful.